In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to edit an email in Outlook, whether you're correcting a typo, updating some information, or adding a bit more flair to your next message. This video will guide you through the entire process smoothly. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be equipped to handle your emails with more finesse and confidence. Let's get started by first making our way to the Outlook login page. It's important to ensure you are logged into the correct account, so head over to the Microsoft 365 login page. If you're not already familiar, you can easily find it by searching Outlook Login using your preferred search engine. Once there, the first step is to click on the Sign In button, which is prominently displayed on the page. As you proceed, make sure you have your login details ready, your email and password. It's always best to keep your credentials secure, so consider using a password manager if you haven't already. Now that you're signed in, navigate to the Outlook Mail dashboard. This is essentially the nerve center for all your email communications. It's where you can access your inbox, sent items, and drafts. Speaking of drafts, that's exactly where we're heading next. The drafts folder might be in a slightly different location depending on whether you're using the web version or the desktop app of Outlook, but in most cases it's clearly labeled on the left-hand side panel. Once you've clicked into the drafts folder, you'll be greeted with a list of all the emails you've started but haven't yet sent. This is where your stored emails in progress live, waiting for their finishing touches. Take a moment to scroll through and find the specific email you wish to edit. Clicking on it will open up the draft, putting it front and center for you to make any necessary revisions. Now that we've opened our draft email, it's time to get into the specifics of editing. Within the draft, you'll see all the conventional fields you'd expect to, subject, and the main body of your email. Let's focus on making changes, whether it's altering your message or updating an attachment. Simply click on the area of the email you wish to modify. You can delete content, add new information, or rearrange your message to better suit your intent. Outlook's editing features are quite user-friendly, allowing you to format text with bold, italics, underline, and even change the font color. Experiment with these to find the perfect presentation for your message. Another helpful tip is utilizing the spell check feature to ensure your email is free from any spelling errors before sending it out. This little step can make a big difference in professional communications. Once you're satisfied with your edits, remember to save your changes. In some cases, depending on your settings, Outlook might auto-save your draft, which is extremely handy if you accidentally navigate away from the page. However, it's always a good practice to manually save as well. Look for the Save button or simply close the draft, which should prompt a save confirmation. And there you have it. You've successfully edited your email in Outlook, making your communication more effective and error-free. Before you hit send, it might also be beneficial to read through your message one last time. This ensures that everything flows logically and presents the view you intend to communicate. In a world where first impressions matter, having a well-crafted email can leave a lasting impact. This process not only helps in improving your current drafts, but also instills a degree of professionalism and clarity in your communication moving forward. So now you're armed with the knowledge to edit, refine, and perfect your emails with ease, confidence, and a touch of professionalism. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you'll apply these skills in your everyday communications. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check back for more helpful tips on enhancing your productivity and mastering the tools at your disposal.